Alright, what we have here is a Duracell power strip inverter. These are relatively new item, at least to me. I only came across this recently that uh, you can use uh, an inverter from your uh, car battery to invert uh, to AC power to power like laptops and phone chargers and even some that are as powerful to uh, run flat screen TVs if you've got like a tailgate party. So this model uh, is a 175 watt version and yeah it uh, basically just comes with two outlets which would for me would be plenty if I was running my laptop or uh, maybe an external monitor or something like that but uh, you know even a printer uh, for the laptop and a printer and stuff like that so yeah this is a pretty neat item so I'll go ahead and open up the box and uh, we'll check it out see what's included so there you go there's the item and based on the description this works with uh, laptops tablets DVD player smartphones mp3 players and even game consoles it's a charger AC and USB that charges AC and USB devices simultaneously so yeah, for plugging up on your for charging your laptop and all that um, it's quiet cooling fan which is on the side here you can see the little fan inside there for keeping it cool while it's charging your your items um, of course it can be used in the car through the cigarette lighter if you've got uh, the ability for uh, with a charger a USB not a USB but a cigarette lighter in the back this would be perfect for again a tailgate party if you've got a minivan or SUV um, or a setup like that uh, it's got a three foot cord that is uh, still wound up and um, <clears throat> yeah it uh, again you have the ability to charge two AC plug-in items and two USB items uh, specifications the output peak for power is 175 watts the input voltage which comes direct from your car battery which is a range of 11 to 15 volts DC uh, low voltage shutdown it will shut down at 10 volts if your battery is getting weak or uh, the car is not running and the battery gets to that level output voltage is 115 volts AC uh, USB output current is 2.1 amps. The size of this is approximately 7.4 inches by 2.3 inches by 1.8 inches in size. In centimeters, that's 18.9 length, 5.8 width, and 4.6 centimeters in height. Uh, the weight of it is less than a pound, only 0.7 pounds. So, really impressive looking uh, device. And again, I did not know they made these until recently. So, the uh, main reason I got it is again for my laptop. If I happen to be out and around somewhere and I have my laptop with me, then I can use it to charge the batteries on the laptop and also my cell phone, which that's pretty much the two items that I would use this for for the most part. But again, at 175 watts, um, this could probably uh, power a small, probably I would say maybe up to a 32-inch um, flat-screen TV. So uh, again, I don't have anything to really test that for a fact, but you know I do have my laptop that I will test it on, and I've got a small monitor that I'll test it on as well probably like a 13 inch uh, monitor just for you know just for purposes to see how how it works so we'll take it out to my van and test it out alright so there it is hooked up to my cigarette lighter I haven't turned the van on yet I'll get the voltage alright there's the battery Getting that set up here. So, 
Okay, zoom in. So it's showing the 97%. I'll go ahead and start the van up. Okay, it shows it's charging. I'll go ahead and cut on my little TV. There we go. Get the glare off. There it is. My amped 13 inch. It's a little HD TV. Of course, I don't have any signal. It's showing the channel 18.2. Of course, you yeah, have no signal now. A little difficult to do with the sun kind of glaring here. But, uh, yep. Charging, showing 97%. And there's the unit itself, green light on. So, yeah, this is this is a neat a neat item. It's uh, this thing retails for between twenty and twenty-five dollars that I've seen online. And uh, again, they've got a four hundred watt version that I was checking out. A little bit more expensive, but that'll be able to power. Uh, probably a bigger flat screen TV um, you know maybe a 42 inch or even bigger but uh, you know for tailgate parties you probably don't need much bigger TV than that um, but uh, yeah this is yeah, this is working well so I'm trying to think what else to talk about yeah the fan why not we'll look at that see it's not even on yet because it's not running a lot of power but I know it works I've heard it cut kick on so waiting to see the voltage go up because yeah it does show that it's charging Let's see if it'll go up to 98 percent we unplug it yeah so I'm plugging it it's still sitting at 97 but not charging and then plug it in. There it goes. And then I even cut the TV off. There we go. Cut that back on. So cool. Yeah, that is the rundown. Testing it out of a Duracell power strip inverter. And uh, again, they've got bigger versions. You know for heavier duty usage um, but uh, really for what I need you know cell phones and laptop even just power a small HD TV like this one to catch channels you know if I'm on the road or traveling somewhere and uh, yeah that uh, this will definitely come in handy to keep your batteries charged and even power your again power your TV to watch something if there's if you can catch any digital channels from wherever you're at so but uh, yeah so again this was made by Duracell it's actually got a three-year warranty on it if you can tell and uh, again this one this version I got is 175 watts um, model number I'm looking for that I remember seeing it somewhere it's a D-R-I-N-V-P-S-175. So that is the model number if you're looking for this particular size. And honestly, that's this is pretty much all I need. I mean, for what I for what I need it for, I mean this is yeah, this is good enough. So um, there you go. Just a quick product review. Again, of a Duracell power strip inverter from 12 volt DC to 115 volt AC. So, if you're in the market for one, definitely it's worth an it's an investment for, for if you travel a lot. So, until the next thrilling product review. Oh yeah, we're at 98 percent now. Good. All right. Till next time. Adios. All right. So there it is. Back in the box. I'll keep it in my console for future use, but uh, you can find these online. I've seen them on eBay, 
Amazon store websites like Walmart, Target, and other stores like that. So I recommend getting one.